Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. Oh my God, excuse my hair. It's so cold that we have to wear hats and scarves and gloves. Anywho, it is Saturday, February 9th, and I only know that because tomorrow we pick up like 500 cases of Girl Scout cookies and we bring them into my house. Ah! Oh my God. And then Tuesday we pick up like, I'm just kidding, not 500. It's like, 90 90 cases of cookies and then Tuesday we pick up like another 60 or 70 I don't know it's ridiculous we're trying to figure out where we're gonna put all the cookies anywho I got happy mail happy mail happy mail um, I participated in my very first yarn swap with Lisa from happy to hook creations and this is my box so I am gonna open it up and um, she already got hers and she posted a video of what I sent her. So I will put that in the description box below. Okay guys, I got the box open and the first thing I see is a little note, 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 note. So let me um, make sure it doesn't have anything too personal on here. <laughs> Not like Lisa would say anything like bad about me. Um, boo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, okay. Hi, Rose. I hope you like what's in the box. Smiley face. Thank you for swapping with me. I have a tug of war braid for your dog and a pom pom keychain for carrots. Oh my gosh, she's gonna love it. Everything else is for you. Love, Lisa. P.S. Love your energy. When it warms up, we should meet. Yes, Lisa, let's meet. And we can meet somewhere in between if you want to. And we can also get Karen from Happiness is Homemade to come with us too because she lives in Illinois, but she's a little bit further. But anyway, we should do that for sure. Oh yeah, this is for the doggy. Oh my God, this is so cool. Ooh, yes, tug of war, except my dog is really lazy. So we'll see if he wants to do this. Oh my God, it's so cool. Did you make this like homemade? Like with, um, oh my God, it's like fleecy fabric. This is so cool. Cause then like if he just gets slobbery on it, I can throw it in the wash. Let me know, Lisa. This is very cool. Camo says thank you very much. <laughs> oh my God, you guys check out this keychain. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cute. <gasps> She's got a big backpack, so she'll probably wind up putting this on her backpack. Thank you so much. It's adorable. All right, let's see what else is in the box. Okay, I got a hat. Heck yeah, this is for me because it's purple. Let me see. Ooh, let's see here. Oh my God, I love the colors on this, Lisa. <gasps> can you tell me what yarn you used? Because I need to have some of this because I can make myself a matching cowl. <gasps> wow, this is so nice. Okay, I think I might have to leave it on for the rest of the video. <laughs> At least I'll have a warm head. All right, then I, oh my God, this is so cool. It's like a project bag. And it is um, peacock, peacock feathers. So cool. It's got a drawstring. Oh yes, that is so nice. Thank you so much. I could totally use that. And then, oh, look at scrubbies. Scrubbies, oh, and look at this. I believe this is a scrubby too or a washcloth. Is that right? Is this cotton? Is this a washcloth? And these are these little scrubbies. Little scrubbies for the pots and pans. Oh my God, this is so cool. How do you use this yarn? It looks like it would be really hard to see the stitches. So I got two of those. And then I got this blue one. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, <laughs> scrubby sparkle. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay, Lisa, let me know. Do I have to use like another strand of cotton yarn with this? Because this is, looks really thin. Let me know. Did you already put something in there for me? <laughs> let me see. Oh my God, she gave away everything that she had that was purple. <laughs> Look at this one, you guys. <gasps> Modea. Moda Dea Dream. This is from Coats. I'm gonna show you guys this fluffy, fluffy yarn. All right, let's see what this is. 
Oh my gosh. Hold on, my eyes had a problem there. 57% nylon, 43% acrylic, 50 gram ball. The color is plum and it's worsted weight. Oh my God, that's perfect. Look at this. Oh my God, it's like so cool and fuzzy. Ooh, thank you so much, Lisa. Okay, so now I can't get my glasses on with this hat, but this is awesome. <gasps> okay, and then we have Vanna's Choice. Um, here we go, which is also a worsted weight. It's called Dusty Purple. That's perfect. Oh, yes. All right, and then, oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. And then, yay, Red Heart Super Saver. And the color is called Purple Tones. Oh my God, this is awesome. I cannot wait to make something with these. So pretty. If you haven't guessed already, guys, purple is my favorite color. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then this is awesome because this is so neutral. This is one of those mill end bags, one pound, 100% acrylic, and it's just like a nice neutral gray. So I could probably mix it with this. Oh, for sure. And probably even this too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. What am I making with this, guys? This could be like, this is a lot. Excellent. And then there is, there's a box. A box in a box. <laughs> I hope there's not another box inside here. Lisa! <gasps> oh my gosh, there's like, oh, little pom-pom. Nice, look at this gorgeous blue color, you guys. <gasps> and then <laughs> Valentine's Day socks. You're dynamite. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cute. Luckily, Carrots has bigger feet than me, so she won't be wearing these. They're all mine. Ooh. And then a Caribbean bath bomb. Thank you so much. Ooh, smells good. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then, oh my God, this is so cool. Lisa, did you make this? This is a stitch marker, and it's all purples. And look at the clasp. Hold on, you guys have to see the clasp on this. Even the clasp is purple. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Can you please tell me if you make these, Lisa? Because if you do, I want some more and I'll pay you for them. Oh my God, so amazing. This is awesome. So I got a great, great, great box from Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. Thank you so, so much. It was so fun doing the yarn swap with you. I'm so relieved that everything I gave you was okay and it was acceptable. So that is all I have for tonight. Although I did want to share another video clip that I had made. Um, I got some vintage items and I just wanted to share the video clip that I did before on this. So um, in, the, in the video that I'm gonna show you, I'm wearing this poncho, but it was not complete. So actually, I'll show you now. It's complete! It's on my Instagram page, it's on my Facebook page, so if you guys wanna check it out. This is the Easy Hooded Poncho from Bag O' Day Crochet. She puts tassels on hers, but I did big pom-poms. <laughs> yeah, it's not supposed to be worn like that. Anyway, it's right like that. And then the hood, I think I showed you guys the hood before, but the hood is, is all done. So let's see, it's complete. There's the bottom and the sides and the back. And um, unfortunately, I think this will not be at my house for much longer. My niece has claimed it as her own. So I need to make another one. But you guys, it was really easy to make. It's so cool and comfortable. Anyway, that is all. Wish me luck picking up all those boxes of cookies tomorrow. <laughs> and, and I will see you guys later. You take care and have a good night. Bye found someone on Facebook who was selling vintage buttons and um, from like an estate sale or something. And I, you know how I love buttons. So I kept a whole bunch of buttons and there are some things left over that I'm actually not going to use. And I'm going to show you guys what it is. 
And I'm actually willing to sell this to someone for $5 plus shipping. So if anyone is interested in this, there is a, oh my God, it must be like five pounds of buttons in here. There's so many buttons. I only kept like the really, really, really big ones because that's what I like to use. So I've got this huge bag of vintage buttons. And then they also had like old yarn and these really cool needle sets. Let's see if I can, stuff like this. I'll insert pictures of all the things that are in this little grab bag here. But you guys, you really have to see these pins and how they came. This is so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna be careful because some of them are kind of coming out. This is so old. Actually, maybe Crystal might want these. So this is like how they used to sell their pins or maybe they gave them away for free. I don't even know, this is so cool. This is like from Walgreens and you open it up. Oh my God, you guys, this is so cool. Look at this, it's a place to store your pins or your needles. I'm sorry, they're not pins, they're needles, like sewing needles. This is so cool. I just don't need them because I can barely use my sewing machine. <laughs> and then this one is from like national food stores. This one's really cool too. Here, let me open this one up. It's kind of like the same type of deal where it's got like this foil and it's holding all the sewing needles. It's really, really cool. This is so vintage, you guys. Look at that. So I'm gonna put two pictures at the end of this video and if anyone is interested, send me a message or email me and let me know. It would just be five bucks and you just pay for shipping and you can have the whole lot.